Welcome to the Restless Creatives podcast. Comfortable chats with inspirational creatives. Hosted by three self-confessed restless creatives, Lucy Hunter, Fiona Pickles and Bridget Gerling. This week, we talk with Natasia Sade of Cake Italia Amsterdam, an amazingly creative person, once a wedding dress designer, now a baker and cake decorator. But not just any kind of cake decoration, the most exquisite sugar flowers. And we hear all about her processes and some other thoughts on living in Amsterdam and how happy this makes her. <laughs> Look at you looking all gorgeous. I know. I'm very gorgeous. This is so fun. Oh, hanging out with all you girls. Wow. Yeah, well, thank you so much for it because I know you must get asked so much and we're very, very honoured for you to join us. Oh, thank you. thank you so much. Yeah, well, you know, this, this now almost sounds like I'm this sort of um, person that um, is... Um, um, but it's not it's, it's not that bad it's just yeah well um have we already started um will we can yes kind of <laughs> oh, because i wanted to close the door oh no you can go and close the door yeah? Yeah, okay one fine. second fine. Yeah. <laughs> look i know look at that mantel beautiful. piece oh oh mantel envy all right i'm going to redo mine that, that was just so we could see your mantle. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry. No, I'm just, no honestly, yeah. we, please don't okay. worry. We, we're enjoying we, your mantle. We're loving your china <laughs> and the flowers and everything. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> just good. just a little thing. Uh, I yeah, up. well, <laughs> it's nothing. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's not nothing. No, it's not. Uh, very good. <laughs> no, well, Fiona, you are very familiar with this spot because you have uh, been, you know, in my home, in my studio before. I didn't come to your home, actually, because I wasn't on that oh, no. thing. I joined later, so That's I know I didn't, true. and I'm so sad I didn't. No, no. you didn't get to see the... T- oh, yeah, now I know. No, we met no. indeed later. Um, yes. Yeah, wouldn't it be fun to have those times, those afternoons Absolutely. back again? And that's nearly three years ago. No, two years ago. No, two years ago. Two years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know, time flies. It goes very One fast. day. Um, it won't be day. long. Yeah. No, that's true. It won't be long. And, um, you know, just it, it was so um, sweet how indeed someone said um, on Instagram, this is just a chapter and we will be moving on mm. very soon. Mm. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So we've got, well, I've got loads and loads of questions that I want to ask you. But before <laughs> we go any further, can you just give us a bit of background into you and who you are and where you've come from and how oh dear, how you ended up where <laughs> you know talk about oneself um, well, well that's why you're here so don't yeah you're here. Well, <laughs> um so i live in amsterdam as most of you know and i live in the city center in mm. um the old bars and um but i was not born in the netherlands i was born in uh suriname which used to be oh, okay. a colony um and I moved here when I was quite young, so four years. And then um, I had my education here, but I was always very, very interested in fashion. Mm -hmm. Um, Mm -hmm. So I did the School of Fashion and studied that. And I learned all about technique and um, I wasn't very good at drawing, but I was very good at um, just creating things. So if you would give me a piece of cloth, I was able to sort of construct things the way that I wanted to Um, and at one point um, one of the students asked me if I was um, interested in making a gown for um, a party and I did didn't ask a whole lot of money but um, it was a success and then I thought well I could you know make some living out of this. I mean, it was, of course, after all, what I was studying for, but it is nice when you are creative to actually get Mm. confirmation that somebody, you know, that that, Mm. that people are interested in your work. And I was was barely 20. Um, And then I thought, okay, so I did did some more studies, international business, but 
after I think two years, I was like, no, 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 no. This is too much of a struggle. I'm too much of a creative. So I had to let that go. Mm -hmm. And also because I was um, making money, quite some money. Mm -hmm. So I continued doing that. And then one of the girls who I made an evening dress once uh, for, she asked me if I was interested in doing her wedding gown, which I did. Mm -hmm. And then I thought, wow, okay. <laughs> This is the real deal. So I, I, I said to everyone, I'm sorry, I'm not doing anything else anymore. It will be wedding dresses <laughs> from now on. And because there is this sort of, you know, you get to work with the highest quality material and it is this defining moment in, 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 in some, you know, important moment in mm -hmm. someone's life. Mm -hmm. and, um, so I started doing that. And then of course I had to, um, I, I, I had, well, not as much work because then you have to build again. Mm -hmm. um, but I maintained my confidence, had my own studio at some point. And um, I did that for almost 20 years with, um, well, yeah, in, in the Netherlands, it, it was it was really good. So, it, it, you know, if, if you if you um, are one of the, you know, a group of people where, where um, people go to if they're looking for a wedding dress and you're one of them it was it was an amazing compliment mm. and then of course the the world changed because um the internet and the internet buying happened mm -hmm. and um it, the, the work just just changed and then I had my children and I thought wow what am I going to do now and at a certain point I started making a cake for my children oh, okay and it was actually with the cake for my daughter which was a barbie cake i embellished the dress <laughs> with fondant and flowers oh, wow. and i basically did what i you know did in my work before and i had so much fun and that was when i discovered that all the things that you could do with sugar and before i knew it i was buying all kinds <laughs> of supplies on amazon <laughs> <laughs> my husband didn't know what happened you know all these boxes coming in and, and uh, uh, sweetie is that another one no that was from last time <laughs> been there all the time yeah exactly <laughs> that's that's basically what happened so I, I I had so much fun doing that and then I said to him um would you mind if I would you know do this and I, I think I I need to sort of um figure out um where this is going to take me i have no idea where i'm going to go but i want to find out and that's what i did so when was that then how long ago this was that was, um well actually this was actually when i started instagram because somebody asked me if i could do instagram cupcakes and i had no idea what instagram was about i had heard of it I knew the logo, which I that, yeah. which then was the old old logo, and I had to reconstruct it in fondant. And um, I said to my husband, "I don't know what to do." And he said, "No, no, you know what? I will just. Uh, why don't you go on Instagram too?" And and that's what I did. And I posted a few cakes, got a few hearts. Didn't know what was happening. <laughs> oh my it's god, like... I got a heart! I got another heart! So... <laughs> Oh my goodness, I remember I those days. So much. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, where you have just a few followers. Yeah. And somebody says you should use hashtags and you go, What? What, what? are they? <laughs> yes. And I, I I I think, I mean, I I at that time, and I think most of you can agree too, that you probably only know you, you knew half of what it really meant. Mm -hmm. And I never started Instagram with the purpose of okay, now I'm gonna, you know, make this my business or I just enjoyed what I was doing. Mm -hmm. And to get the confirmation from lots of strangers mm -hmm. that you are sort of on the right track mm -hmm. is, is, is very encouraging. Yeah. And mm -hmm. um, yeah, so basically, I just I just kept on working, perfecting my flowers and and uh, did you give up the wedding dresses and... completely then? I yeah. exactly oh, that's wow. exactly what I did. Right. I completely gave it up, and I it, it was hard because w w sometimes you know the, it's like the universe sometimes asking you like, yeah. are you sure yeah. what yeah. you're doing yeah. here? Yeah. So there are these there were these people who asked me, I'm getting married. Are you sure that that last dress was your last dress? <laughs> that's hard really hard yeah it's hard and it is also hard to say sort of no to money and yeah. it is hard to mm. to to justify 
that, you know, sometimes you have to make sacrifices mm -hmm. in order to get a few steps higher mm -hmm. that you own that an hour or, or um, a day only has 24 mm -hmm. hours and especially with family life. Um, mm -hmm. But I was willing to take that step back because to be honest, I mean, if I would win the lottery, this was this, this would be the exact same thing that I would be still be okay. doing. So it was for me like if I can just do this. I, 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 I promise that I, I won't need a whole lot else. I just, I just want to do what I love Isn't to do. Isn't that amazing, then, though, that you kind of found yourself there yeah, through a Barbie doll really... cake? <laughs> <laughs> An Instagram cupcake. <laughs> yes, exactly. Exactly. It's no, amazing. that is, and it, yeah, and it is, it is actually how most businesses start, right? Mm. Because, I mean, we have children or something happens to our life and we do something and then we figure out that, well, we could, you know, take this some further. And I wouldn't say that you sort of find a way to fill in the gap because of course everything has already been done, but you can, I think, you know, find a sort of gap that is right for you yeah. where something is, um, uh, where you discover that when, when, when you just continue doing it, um, your gap is going to be filled. And that is exactly what this cake did for me. It, it mm -hmm. sort of filled up a space that I didn't even know, um, existed and you know just to be able to shape those flowers and so the thing was is that when I had my studio with the bridal dresses I always had real flowers we always have real flowers in our home um, I mean Fiona you know that in Holland flowers have a different meaning mm -hmm. they're everywhere mm -hmm. and so the real flowers were always sort of the inspiration for my sugar flowers and you know just to get the stamen and the and the hearts and the petals and the so I was so um I, I just got incredibly excited about trying to copy that um and and, and what you do is is so it's like forensic mm -hmm. your examination mm -hmm. of flowers you know I mean you must be yeah. so familiar with flowers I mean we're familiar with flowers but we sort of see it as the whole you must have to sort of really Dissect deconstruct it, it yeah. to to see yeah. it because they're so perfect they are so lifelike oh well thank you that's what i always hope but you know mm. it's always nice to, yeah but to, i'm not to, the first to, person yeah. to say that you know i mean it, <laughs> they no are but i will never get used stunning. to it because you know what it, it that is exactly my goal and you know it is always nice to hear that you know that is how people look at it indeed i i i, I try to create them in such a way where people will forget that they are about sugar. Um, and at the same time, you know, it, they are sugar mm -hmm. and I want them to be sugar. Um, but um, it, it also changes, I think, your relationship with, um, with flowers. I can, I can highly recommend for any florist mm. to sort of give it a go because I think we need to give it a go. I think we do need to give it a go. Yeah, because you, know, you know what? The thing is, is that um, it gives you an, an incredible high to, to use that word. I mean, well, not I, sugar. Yeah, no, no, yeah, no, no, no. Just not from the sugar, but from the idea that, you know, those flowers that who are going to wills and who are not going to be with us forever, mm. that you can actually sort of reconstruct them in a way where you know they will be with you mm -hmm. and you mm -hmm. as if you're almost you know you're 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 getting through that journey of the flower itself mm -hmm. how you have to think about that flower like what stage am i going to capture it in am i going to stage it in the in the butt phase or am i going to capture it in the full blooms phase or you know when it is like um when or when there is decay or and there's beauty in every in every you know step Stage. of mm -hmm. A flower. So I can, I, I always say to, um, because people sometimes ask me, like, do I have to be a person who likes baking to do what you do? And I always say, absolutely not. I can, I can, <laughs> I can, I can, I can highly recommend. But I think that this also goes for whether you do it in paper or, yeah. you know, anything, any work that you can do with flowers um is very satisfying mm -hmm. you know elongate their um presence with you in a way etc so I should okay, so you have this. to you have to work quite fast don't you with the actual sugar paste because it dries so quickly um yeah it it 
well, you have a couple of minutes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you have three hours. No, 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 no. no, 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 no yeah, well, when, when you create a petal, yeah, then you, of course, you, 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 it, you can't take forever. It, it, but when I have people who come for a class, I always sort of help them to work in such a way where you will learn yourself to get sort of speed in it yeah okay yeah so did you just did you self-teach yourself you know were you self-taught doing this or did oh, you oh yeah yeah completely okay fabulous completely so it's just the passion that has caused you to yeah work out how to yes i i once had a class at the beginning i already like i said you know that buying on amazon that also entailed you know <laughs> all sorts of <laughs> yeah so yeah i was i was i was i was complete i was completely self-taught I did then at a certain point had a um, lesson from somebody. I'm not going to mention any names, um, but I, I, while we had the class, it was actually quite a big class, or maybe it wasn't the person's fault, but I didn't feel like I actually learned something. Uh -huh. yeah. I, I, I left that class thinking, mm, no, this is, <laughs> this is, this is, I don't have to do this again. I knew at that point yeah. that I learned enough. Yeah. And I think that at a certain point where you are um, learning something new and you know that you have the basics, the, mm -hmm. the, the mm -hmm. two mm -hmm. most important things are then of importance is practice mm -hmm. and then to find your own style. Mm -hmm. So those two things I just try to do automatically and that just takes time and you, and you have yes. to be patient with yourself and if you if you actually go to the bottom of my instagram page please don't do it <laughs> but, <laughs> so for all of us <laughs> yeah but it's, it is exactly the time for all of us you know you start yeah, but i have left i i kept those so early stages photos yeah you know with important. with with bad filters and all um and and those flowers do not look in any way like the flowers that i create today no um, but it's a process you have to go through isn't it to like you say exactly to learn your and i don't want to erase that no. process because that process is just just as important mm. as it is what i do now mm. and uh, i mean even just a joy in those times of the exploring mm. and you know the the the, the the continuous feeling of i think i'm now a level you know yeah. that that is something i don't ever ever want to want to wipe out yeah. literally mm. and i also hope that some people will see will will will, will you know see that um i you know didn't wake up like this or yeah you, you know, weren't born doing no them. I was, I was, I was, I was, yeah. exactly exactly so anyone can do it you just have to be patient yeah mm. well, i'm not sure anybody could do it but you've yeah, obviously got a very 3d brain you know you've got a sculptures mm. a sculpture yeah. brain whether you're creating wedding dresses you see things don't you as oh, you know yeah rather than a flat 2d painting you know yes. you bring them to life and i think you need to have that ability to be able to do what you've done. But I certainly think that everybody can, um, with a lot of passion, can, can learn whatever you want to learn and patience. Yes, I, I agree. And it does take a certain um, way of thinking. If that's absolutely mm. true. Mm. Um, I also think that um, you also have to be um, very critical of yourself. Um, because we always have, before we start with something, um, this is actually one of the things that I, I, I try not to do too often, but when we start at a project, we always have something in mind and we want to live up to that expectation, what we have in our minds. And mm -hmm. sometimes we exceed that expectation and sometimes we don't. Mm -hmm. um, I always try to sort of keep an open mind not to have too many expectations when I start something, mm. Mm. <laughs> just to keep the fun up in it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but however, when things don't go the way as I planned, I always am very honest and critical of myself and say, okay, this is, this is, this is not the right way. I have to do better. Mm. And even if it means, you know, something deconstructing something yeah. and start all over again. Mm -hmm. So it is this sort of balance of, yeah, we have to um, 
just you know accept ourselves and accept the work that we do yeah. and but sometimes staying critical uh, we can also um, enhance that ability mm. of what we have in our minds to get it actually in front of us mm. so to speak does mm. that make sense yes yeah. mm. absolutely it does yes. okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we're with you <laughs> okay so i think the fascinating bit is the painting of the detail that mm. then goes on that that must take hours for some flowers um no you know i think the painting is the fun part actually because that is sort of the finishing touch that is like you 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 made sure that the base is all right and then you're just gonna apply makeup and then you're you, you know it, it is like it's like the really really fun part <laughs> But before that, you have to get yourself through the, is that called the grit, the gritty, yeah. um, the, the, the grind. <laughs> yes, the grind, that's right. You just have to get through that. Mm. You have to maintain the patience. So mm. if you have like the ranunculus, Lucy, the one that, that's behind yeah. you, which is like that's so That's not cool. a sugar flower. <laughs> no. I didn't say that earlier. She didn't knock that well, out. If I would recreate that one in sugar, that beautiful peach um, ranunculus, I would just have to get through those 65, 70 petals first. Oh, <laughs> and then I can do the painting. Right. So the painting is like the the the, the finishing moment where mm. it all comes together yeah. but the hard part is just you know to just keep going <laughs> yeah don't give goes. up i'm not sure i won't curse pedals out so yeah if you were to make a ranunculus from beginning to end how long would that actually take you oh a ranunculus can take almost a day oh wow does it surprise me and i thought you yeah. might say longer actually mm. No, 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 no. Might take us um, a week, Bridget. <laughs> yes, <it might. laughs> No, but... <laughs> Sometimes when I have a class, I will say to people, okay, they always get to choose, like, okay, what is the class subject and are there flowers? And, and, and ranunculus is always on the list. And then I always warn them, like... Are you sure? Yeah, we can do the ranunculus <laughs> and I will show you how to do it. But I think that what is most important is, is that you leave my space with the knowledge of you know the technique and yeah. from that you will practice and yeah. then you will do some fun. so if you don't if you are okay with going home with a sort oh, of ha, exactly <laughs> a petal not as full yeah. bloom but you know you yeah. know how to do it yeah. then yeah we'll 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 do this but Renanke is one of those flowers that takes an uh, quite a long time yeah, and uh which makes sense i mean if you for instance have a anemone you know you can almost count the petals mm -hmm. and, yeah uh, it's okay yeah. and same goes for a wedding cake like if, if 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 i would have a wedding cake and i would do the pricing i always say it really depends which flowers you choose mm -hmm. so when you you know when you buy flowers it's just so easy because yeah for me it's it's yeah a whole bunch but um in a sugar flower, every mm. petal mm. counts, literally. Absolutely. Yeah, gotcha. And do you, always, do you always buy a flower? Do you always do it from a real flower or is a lot of it from memory? Yeah. You always yeah. have something in front of you to sort of... Yeah, which is, which is... Um, well, also because, of course, I have the access to almost every flower. I, know, I was going to say you're in the perfect place. I, yeah. yeah, and I think especially that if I if I teach, I I, I think I I should know what the actual flower is about, which yeah. which sometimes um, has given me the very you know where moment where I had students. For instance, I was teaching in Jakarta once and. I had the, because then of course you have the class subject and then people will sign up for certain uh, blooms. Mm -hmm. And I had the poppy and somebody mm -hmm. said, I have never seen a real poppy before. And mm -hmm. which was sort of the first time <laughs> I was actually, oh, <laughs> of course, yeah. I get that. Yeah. If you live in a, in, mm -hmm. in yeah. a mm -hmm. part of the world where certain flowers mm -hmm. are not as, mm -hmm frequent so to speak yes of course and so i think it is important that every flower that i have created yes i have actually seen in front mm -hmm. of me um because i think it is important if i would teach it to someone else that i would teach it in the right way mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and i will always tell them 
this is sort of my botanical in, uh, interpretation because some things you just have to um, solve a little bit differently because it, it is like and certain blooms are absolutely not possible to um, capture in sugar. Oh really? Wh which sorts? What's the name? The one with all the it, it's like a, a um, very round and you 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 blow against it and then everything. Oh, a dandelion. Oh, dandelion. Yes, it's, yeah. those ones. <laughs> yes. Impossible. <laughs> yeah. I can see that now. You say uh, it. No way. <laughs> Forget about it. Yeah. I know that one because I had the request Have you tried it? <laughs> but I didn't even try. I just said no. Nah. Okay. <laughs> So how long do these flowers last for? Once Forever. Do they? Oh, they yes. Okay. okay. Yeah, the only thing is, is that if you keep them in very bright sunlight, Not they fade. just sort of fade a bit, mm. which I always oh, like. Yeah. Mm. And, um, um, and you, you cannot, so don't put them in sort of a window and the window is open and it rains mm. because okay. yeah. that it's makes going sense. It's to be sad. I mean, it's like, <laughs> yes, they're... they're there's going to be a drop on the pot <laughs> where your window is and, and the flower will be gone. Um, no, so, 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 so humidity. Um, there are certain mm. uh, places in the world where um, it will be uh, difficult to sort of keep the flowers. Um, um, and, 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 and also in some parts of the world, there are certain um, anim um, small mm. ants or something yeah. that enjoy the sugar. <laughs> <laughs> but apart from that, for oh, and that is also one of happy. the reasons why you know it's so lovely that yeah. you know to work together yeah. with a florist who's doing the wedding and they will tell me what the flowers and the theme are going to be like and you know and then to to, to give that something extra mm. to um, to a bride mm. and that's going to be there long after yeah. all the the the, the party. Oh, but it's I also can imagine if the guests eat it. No, they, they don't. <laughs> they don't. <laughs> They'd be evicted. They would for, be evicted. For, as far as I know, that hasn't actually happened yet. There, there are certain, I, I have one friend who once said to me, you know, I have this fantasy and I know that you will <laughs> never, ever grant me, but I would love to just stick one flower in my mouth. Just, just you know, just, just to know. And I said, no, it's not going to happen. <laughs> uh, too much work. Um, no, but I know that people do think about that. Yeah. But you know what? It's also just so much fun because I combine the flowers, the sugar flowers with the real flowers. And, yeah. you know, then it is always lovely to, to, to sort of bring in this element. Sometimes, you know, the flowers are not blooming at the time. Mm. You know, I love bringing a, um, uh, a sugar peony into, into an arrangement. And especially, you know, when peonies aren't here mm. and yeah, I, I keep playing with them. Mm. And ah. the poppies, the poppy petals that you do, they're just, Incredible because they're like they unfur unfurl, yes. don't they? And they're folded and they look so real. I just, I, how do you do that in sugar? That you know, crumpled. It's just, I know. Feel is just. <laughs> yeah, I I I I taught that exact thing, the crumpled part, mm. in a class, okay. and it was actually really nice because when I did that and I showed them how they could do that, the students were like. <gasps> <laughs> no way so you can manipulate right. the material you can manipulate sugar in the most amazing and this is actually this is actually what i did for you know at least two years was just mm. create mm. the flowers and try with every technique that i knew um and invent some new yeah. um you know to 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 indeed mimic what i the prototype the real flowers yeah. so do you have help at all now if, you, if you've got several cakes to make or are you very do you say no, no. I, I only do no 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 I did I did have I, I did have it um one time um and I will tell you what happened so I had this I had this wedding cake and the flowers were already done because you know I I am very very picky when it comes to okay how how things should look um, it would be as if somebody else would paint over the canvas that I would I would yeah. be working on. Yeah. But anyway, there were there was also the request for lots and lots of um, 
uh, foliage. So, um, and the foliage in this case was um, ivy. <laughs> loads and so much I, I, I can't even so I had I had created the um, the petals the the leaves they were already done I only needed to tape them but they needed to be colored and because there were so many I had an assistant uh, that day um, who was also going to help me with the cake and everything later on and um, and I asked her if she could help me with um, the painting of the petals and it went all wrong and I, I just oh. yes so the colors were too bright and 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 at a certain point so I said to her could you just okay just stop <laughs> go away <laughs> go get lunch. <laughs> and then she said to me and I will never forget that she said oh wait a minute you want fall in these leaves and not spring uh -huh. as in yes exactly so she knew that from that moment on to keep the colors more demure more mm -hmm. muted, you know yeah. to, to 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 yeah so yeah i'm learning i'm learning i'm not i'm not the best uh person to to um uh be um well delegate and, yeah, and I'm like no, that. not terrible. very good yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when it's so sort of crucial to you as well mm -hmm. you know it, it it it's it's just about you really isn't it you know it's not something certainly that side of things I can see not wanting to no. delegate to anybody and there must be other stuff cleaning and stuff that maybe yeah. people can do <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Cleaning, just, just, just do the, just do the dishes and then, yeah. you know. <laughs> just no. make me cups of tea. Yeah, just, yeah, answer my phone, answer my email. Uh, yeah, you know, that, that, that <laughs> yeah, but the, the creative process itself, I think you, you girls must have that too. You, at a certain point, you have your style, you, mm. there is something you're known for, there is a signature, mm. you know, way of doing things and how how do you sort of I have so much respect for you know those in the industry that are able to you know come up with the complete theme plan and then you know have the trust and faith in the people working with mm. them for them mm. whatever you want to call it mm. and then you know, create that amazing things but I think in my work it is a little bit more for mm. me mm. Mm difficult yeah but i'm learning and you know i we get older and maybe ask me again in five years time <laughs> yes it might have changed i'm not saying that <laughs> there'll be me bridge and fiona all sat there painting yeah. <laughs> and you cracking the whip <laughs> exactly exactly so so obviously you're in amsterdam which is the most magical magical place in the world isn't it and don't that. know about that, but I'm very happy to live where I live. Absolutely. Yeah, Absolutely. it's beautiful. And your so your Instagram is kind of it is like a little sort of slice of you, isn't it? You know, so you've got you're very much featuring the city and the pictures of the canals and people skating down oh, the canals yes, as they were a couple lovely, of weeks ago. Wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. And then you yeah. have your sugar flowers, and then you have your you sort of delft wear with your beautiful flowers. Sunday flowers. And it's just, it is just you in Amsterdam. And it's just, yeah. you've created such a niche for yourself. And it makes me laugh because your Instagram is so much more flowery than mine. You know, I'm a florist <laughs> <laughs> and you're not. And yet your no, Instagram No, Fiona, it's is not. Different. I don't think so. <laughs> Oh, your, your Instagram. No, I don't agree because, because you, you, this is so amazing. I think that we always have this perception of ourselves and we always have this perception of, 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 of other people. And to me, you girls are like, you know, your Instagrams are always, um, how do you say that? You have your really own style and, and, and the way that you capture the flowers are so beautiful and everything is very harmonious and no I I what you're describing right now is exactly what I think of you <laughs> really <Funny. laughs> yeah it is exactly what I, and and maybe even more because um yeah I, I think that it it went very natural and sometimes I think 
no, I shouldn't do this because it, 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 you know, this is something that is of interest for me. I mean, why would I bother somebody else with a photograph like this, you know? Um, and then sometimes it is other people that will say, oh, you know, I, I, I think you should do that. And I think that it is always, you know, I try when something happens in my life, like for instance, the skating, that is like a good example. Um, it is so not only embedded in Dutch culture, mm. it, it was such a, you know, party to experience in this time of lockdown. Mm. It is, um, it is, I'm, I'm, I'm reminded of it, you know, it's just like the paintings from the old days. Mm. In, in that way, I have to agree, then Amsterdam is truly mm. a very, very magical mm. city. It has nothing to do with flowers. And at the same time, it has everything to do with flowers because it gave me the energy, you know, to, mm. to, 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 mm. to um, continue do what I do and because sometimes you know everyone gets sort of in this sort of yeah you get stopped yeah Yeah, you get so and 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 this is I think what lockdown what happens and you get stuck Mm -hmm. and then to just be out for a day in nature doing those things having my children come home being happy in between homeschooling I can imagine it, that's a challenge. Yeah, it was. I think I was thinking like, okay, this needs to be on 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 Instagram. People, I think, hopefully, will appreciate. Oh, I, I loved it, and I, I didn't show that slice was, of myself. Yeah, yeah. But it, it's so Dutch, and I didn't realize it was so. You know, I didn't know that it was such a sort of. A, a, fundamental part of being Dutch that they skated. I didn't know and, either. And I loved reading all about no, it. And, so so, and, and when I that guy didn't know cycled either. past. <laughs> I thought that this is what everybody else did. Like, <laughs> yeah. No. I, I mean, I know. No, listen. Okay, let me explain. I know that um, we are in the world a country because, of course, we have this tour- tournament, which hasn't happened in over, what was it, 30 years? or something um, where the canals are, or the, the, all the rivers and, and uh, they are skated and there's a tournament in a province in the Netherlands. Um, so I know that in that sense, the Netherlands are quite known for that, but because it's just such an easy thing to do, I mean, it freezes, you mm-hmm. get to skate. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I thought, well, but why don't people do it more? So it was actually Instagram that taught me that what we do here mm. does not go, does not happen, you know, yeah. everywhere else. Um, I know from a Canadian friend that, yes, they do skating there, but not in such a way. And it was actually quite sweet because somebody who was in France had sent me a message like, this would be like so forbidden in France. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. The police would, 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 would drag you off the waters. And, because it's not and, safe. And, is that why? Exactly, because right, it is not okay. safe. And then he asked me, like, but how do you know that it is safe? And I said, well, we just we swim. Just do it anyway. <laughs> yeah, we just, <laughs> just stand and then we just soak for the best. So <laughs> somebody will scoop us out. <laughs> exactly. Which which is true. There will yeah. always be somebody there and there will always be a rope sort of, you know, pulling you out. And don't <laughs> don't really worry about that. that no. And, and we teach our skills. Out- freeze deliberately i didn't realize yes. they did that they sort of closed them off to let them freeze they closed I mean, the locks they, they would never do that here the boats not are not allowed to no, sail it cold enough, do you? no 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 it was and beautiful I can... it was really really yeah. beautiful that couple dancing oh. as well yeah okay. i know that was just i mean perfect <laughs> That was just, I mean, it, but those things are just as special for me as they are for you. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm not mm. going to now say like, yeah, that was so, de-. no, <laughs> that was special. Yeah. yeah. That was special. Something Absolutely. else you put on your Instagram feed, it was a while ago now, well, it must've been a while ago, because I think the children were still going to school, which was, so, I thought was incredible, but you explained that this was just really normal, was that the children all go and learn about gardening and growing yes. It's part yes. of the curriculum. And it I just is. thought, why isn't this compulsory like in this country? Right. Just like skating. Um, yeah, like I, like I said, so um, when they are um, nine, 
they um, each morning of the, one morning of the week so you can volunteer as a parent to walk them to the school gardens that's what they called schooltuinen and I said the Dutch word in case the Dutch people are um, <laughs> also <this. laughs> um, and they um, get educated about what it is like to grow vegetables, flowers, etc. how everything works. And there are a couple of reasons why um, they do it. And as a matter of fact, I, as a young girl, had it as well. So it, this isn't something that is, you know, from past years. Um, this, my, my husband uh, had it as well. It is just indeed part of the curriculum of the, of the elementary school. And so they teach a lot about how things grow and how soil and, and, and the nutrition and just to make children more aware about of, of, of what they eat. And it was actually when I had the school gardens, I can still remember it because I was sent out once, sent away once. Um, so we had this. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I know. There's a story here. You will now understand. You will understand when I, when I, when I tell you. So we had this sort of, um, it was in the spring and there were all these flowers blooming and we had the class where we were uh, going to uh, press, do flower pressing. Mm -hmm. And we were supposed to just pick a couple of flowers. <laughs> and what I did was I just went back with an enormous bunch. <laughs> And that man got so mad. <laughs> and I really, I just, I just had to, I just had to, um, yeah, apologize. And, and, and I was, I was sent out for a moment Aww. and then I was able to come back. But um, yeah. so I, I, well, not to get too political, but I do want to, to I, I, I do want to um, tell something else about that post. Um, I said underneath that post that this is something that every Dutch kid gets. And I think that this is also something that we, that we should always keep and that is important. Um, but it also, of course, takes um, taxes to um, maintain these sort of programs. I mean, you can do all the philanthropy that you like, but in the end, especially when it comes to the school system, we sort of need taxes to, you know, have mm -hmm. these sorts of things um, in our lives. So I, 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 I felt the need to, um, to say that um, because um, especially sometimes when people make certain um, uh, political decisions when it comes to voting, et cetera, um, I think it is important to 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 mention that yeah and it's it mm. gives children such a lot more than just learning about growing and nurturing things exactly it is everything i mean when you invest in them in such a way it is not only that i think they will appreciate nature more it is also that you can when they learn about the nutritious um factors of it and um because they learn so much they learn about how to make vinegar and they learn how to make vegetable soup and they learn you know and and, and when ch when 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 one person doesn't have something that grew as well as you know with somebody else they will they will share the the they will share their crop and and they will say oh i have some here if you like and you know so there it is also a sense of community mm -hmm. of you know sharing and but it but it is also a incredible way to prevent diseases mm. and 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 so in the end i think you know you also are helping your health system mm. to, you mm. to when and you your mental those, health as well and your mental health it is physical health it is mental health mm. it is everything if you if you teach children something like that mm. at a very early age you will gain so much mm. Mm -hmm. it is I, I can't even begin to describe mm. what this program means mm. to um, uh, to me and to I think so many others mm. in the Netherlands. Mm -hmm. And I can highly recommend it. I think that the world would be absolutely happier place. Happier mm. place. And and I think maybe it has also got to do I don't know of the fact that of course we are a very agricultural country. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, 
it is, you know, part of, well, everything we do. So yeah, it might have something to do with that. Mm. But um, if, if there is a plot of land available and if you can get to do something like that and they start in the, in the, in the um, I think my daughter is going to start in, in, at the end of March or something. So, you know, really when the things start to, when you have to plant it and then it grows and then mm -hmm. over the holidays, mm -hmm. you, you can even visit them when you are having, you know, the summer holiday. But then you come back and, you know, the whole process of um, the flowers um, and, the, and the vegetables and, yeah, taking it out and not, no waste, what is it that you can eat? What is it that you, yeah, everything. Well, they just value the food so much more, don't they? Instead mm. of it being a, a mold, I think moldy so too. cucumber from the supermarket, they understand what yeah. it took to grow yeah. that cucumber. Yeah, mm. I think so too. Um, as a matter of fact, I, there are certain vegetables that I was able to, um, that my children didn't eat before and now they did because <laughs> they grew it themselves mm. and yeah. And you don't want to go back to school like yeah no it didn't eat it so no That's fascinating. and to just sort of grow up with it it takes the mystery away from it mm. doesn't it you know it, it it's that that stops a lot of people getting involved and it's like oh i don't know where to start i don't know where to do that and i don't know how to do this and you know it just takes the mystique away and and just you know it's easy just put something in the soil and it'll grow and you'll be able to eat it yeah, and, and here you know, it's, it's always like... been for such a long time as well that it's something that you do when you're retired you know it's not yes. a cool thing to do so by mm -hmm. by making it something that's so accessible at such a small age it becomes yeah something you don't even think about it's just part of your culture and i think that god that's amazing i think uh, it's wonderful yeah. isn't it yeah it is yeah. i think when you ha i always say when you have a garden, you have the real gold. Mm. You are rich <laughs> because you can provide for yourself. You can, you can, you know, bloom. I, we don't have a garden. I have a rooftop on top and that's, that's oh, it. That's yeah. Um, do you grow up so, there? On sorry? The, do you grow on the yes. rooftop? Yeah. I grow on the rooftop. Yeah. 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 Um, but to teach children that what it actually takes for certain vegetables to actually, you know, end up in the supermarket. To get through that entire process is just so important. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, something to lobby for here, girls. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, is it okay if I uh, close a curtain? Yes, of course. Yes, I you had, had, you've got I'm lovely so sunshine so on your face. <laughs> Oh, oh, look, look at, at that mangosteen! Ah, <laughs> uh, now are they sugar or are they? Fruit? I don't know. I was going to ask. I bet some of them are. Yeah. You should sort of put a commercial. You should put a um, a commercial now. No. Yeah, we wanted to. <laughs> are those flowers sugar behind you? Or yeah. Uh, really? Are they all sugar? They're all sugar. The hydrangeas are sugar. No, 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 no. <laughs> No, the hydrangeas are absolutely dried. Uh, real and dried. Mm. But this is what I always say, like a permanent oh, it's fabulous. fixture. Isn't it There's, fabulous? There is, I can, I can go on a holiday. <laughs> Come back and they're still there. <laughs> we'll be here exactly the way. <laughs> right, girls, that's our next trip. I know. Amsterdam. Off to Amsterdam. Amsterdam. You've got, you've got yeah. three new yeah. students. <laughs> oh, I would no, we're definitely to. doing that. I definitely would doing love that. to. And you would love it. I, I, would, love it. It. I, I think we would. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. yeah. <laughs> Now, there were so many other things I wanted to talk about, but we're running out of time. So we're going to have to... I wanted to talk about the Rijksmuseum. And oh, you can ask me. <laughs> do you go to the Rijksmuseum a lot? I do. I do, because I have a pass. Mm. Uh, yeah, which, I guess you probably yeah. would have. And it only takes, like, um, what, um, less than 10 minutes on my bike. Oh, wow. Yeah. I have no reason not to go yeah. there. I have no reason. It is incredibly big, and they are going to actually have a... Um, uh, new exhibition very soon, as soon as um, it, it's it's going to open, and it's going to be about slavery. So I ah, think that that okay. is important. Yeah. Um, but the 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 paintings and the mm. the building itself. Mm. Have you been, Fiona? I've been to the outside. <laughs> I, I kind of ran out of time and, and you had mm -hmm. to sort of pre-book and I hadn't pre-booked. So no, it's yeah. definitely, I need to go because I just want to see, there's so many pictures in mm -hmm. there that I just, 
so beautiful. I've never been. Well, I mean, I, I am now talking to you girls, you know, you live in London or you're close to London and well, I'm not. No, I'm not. <laughs> Very no, but I mean, London for some is closer to Brighton. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I, I have been to your museums and of course they are amazing. Um, yeah, but there is something about um, the Dutch artist mm. that absolutely the, yeah. the, the masters that is I think yeah. that's and maybe I, why we all love them they're just there's yeah. something very special about them yes yes and it has also got to do with the light mm -hmm. which is now sort of yeah, <laughs> yeah. literally right bothering me <laughs> in my face but anyway <laughs> and are there many Rachel Roy I don't know how you say her name is it Rachel Royce yeah Royce? well uh we in Dutch we call it we, we call her um uh, Rachel um, oh, okay. Yeah, but that's okay. No, no, no. Uh, Rachel Rauch is one of, of course, yeah, you know, just one of the greatest. Beautiful. Um, and I mean, it's just astounding that I mean, I have two children and I love them dearly, but she had ten. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, no, it, yeah, and she was able to sort of, you know, um, escape to uh, the paintings. <laughs> I she must have had a whole bunch of staff because <laughs> otherwise how are you able to yeah. produce that amount first that amount that quality I don't know that yeah we we can only we can only guess I don't know. yeah but her her father um, uh, was a um, was a collector um, oh really? So so it was really it was in the family and where she where she actually um painted it's 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 quite close by um but she was incredibly uh she was she was a true feminist in that way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. she knew her worth. She got well paid. Um and I I think she was very much encouraged by her father to do this. Mm -hmm. Yeah quite something isn't it best. of its know, time know. absolutely mm -hmm. just well it was so absolutely wonderful mm. i mean right you are just the sweetest <laughs> i could you just can we, can we do this more often i'll bring wine yes. <laughs> yes. absolutely yes. Yes. Well, <laughs> make some, that's actually how this started we started doing this informally with wine and then we just mm. thought oh why don't we just do this and speak to people <laughs> We thought we'd better leave the wine though. The Before best we go, well, idea. we do a five quick questions. Yes. So I'm going to quick I will, fire. I will you. try and um, <laughs> um, I think don't, I know. Don't, don't worry about the light. Yeah. What did you have for supper last night? <laughs> no one can ever remember. Takeaway. Ooh, Indian lovely. takeaway. Nice. Because it was my birthday yesterday. No! And I oh, happy birthday! birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday. Oh. And Indian food is one of my favorites. Mine. So, yeah, that's why. Fabulous. At least you remembered. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, this one's quite difficult and it's a bit mean to ask you, but oh. what's your favorite flower? Oh. 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 I always say that's like asking which no. child your favorite is child. Yeah. <laughs> your favorite we, child. Can, we can never choose, can we? No. Okay. Is it too hard uh, and I would to as soon as I would I would even find it as soon as I would pronounce it, I would feel so yes. guilty the list. <laughs> to all the others. As if I'm going to I would be punished for it. The universe wouldn't no. Okay. I won't I won't force That's you to um, no, yeah. but I can say I can say um <laughs> a, a, a peonies are always a winner, ranunculus are always winners. Mm. Um so the fluffy ones then. Yeah, the proof room. absolutely. The the garden roses, mm. the heirloom roses. You know what I locally got. Those mm. those kinds of things. Um, Not a tulip then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I feel like I've been forgetting my favorite child. <laughs> How could I? <laughs> it's kind of it goes without saying, though, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so. Are they all in flower at the moment? All the fields. No, no, no. Um, the tulips are easy right now. They are from the from the greenhouses. Yeah. They are from the greenhouses, but the tulips are already this yeah. up. We are 
hoping that um, Keukenhof, the large mm, tulip yeah, garden, yeah. will be open in March. Oh, that'd be amazing. Please let it be open yeah. because, you know, its closure last year it was devastating. Oh, of course. So it happened, was it the week before, before it, it closed yeah. down, wasn't oh, it? Oh, gosh. Yes, when the world came to a stop. It, yeah. It, it, yeah, that was actually, you know, the week when everything collapsed, when we had to destroy the flowers. When, mm. Oh, let's not get into yeah. that. But, um, no. Yeah. Yeah, no, that wasn't good. Tulip, yeah, tulip, and then especially, especially if if we could, if we could just add one more thing, <laughs> the striped ones, of course. Yes. Oh, yeah, yes. yeah, <clears throat> very special. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So when this is all over, all this nightmare of being locked down and not able to speak to people, mm -hmm. um, where will you go? Where, where will the first place you go be? <laughs> um. This this is this is I, 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 I think I will go to Suriname. Okay. I haven't been to my country of birth in a long time. Okay. Um, yeah. and I'm 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 really hoping to show it to my children who have never mm. been there. What's um, it like as a country? Is it it's the most beautiful country. Mm. It is it is um so you have the Amazon of course. Mm. And it's quite um, unaffected. There are not many tourists that go to Suriname. Hopefully, after this conversation, <laughs> <laughs> what I'm saying is again, oops. Um, yeah, it is so beautiful. The food is delicious. The people are so sweet, mm. and you know, to, to to get in, you know, the the jungle and hear the birds. And, yeah, it's the most amazing thing. I've been to Australia, I've been to, but there is something about the vastness, or the, how do you say that? Is that the vastness? Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. extraordinary, lots of walking um, with your guide who will use his knife to <laughs> make it, to make it, wow. machete, exactly. Wow. Yeah. Oh my yeah. God. Sounds incredible. Yeah. So that will be hopefully the first country that I will be able to go to. Nice. Yeah. Um, and another one, can you dance? Um, I'm not going to do it <laughs> now in front of the camera. If that's what you know. I... <laughs> you have to answer. Is that the next question? Because, yes. um, yeah. I, I, have, I have my private parties in the kitchen. I absolutely do. Yeah. I have, and I love to do it. Yeah. Oh, that'd be fabulous. Yeah. yeah. Why are you cooking? <laughs> yeah, very loud music. Yeah, um, and also um, with the children. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. And finally, tell us something unexpected about you. Something we might not expect of you. If, if that's not too hard, I'm a Twitter to put you addict. On the spot. A Twitter oh, addict. A Twitter you? addict. Yes. Really? <laughs> I used to be a Twitter addict. I have, I have, I, I'm not yeah. going to say my name because I don't have any followers and I want to keep it that way. <laughs> okay. Oh, you're a, a stealthy <laughs> Twitter follower. <laughs> but I just, I'm addicted to Twitter. Right. I'm addicted. I used yeah. to, I used to love Twitter. I used to be a big Twitter girl before Instagram. Um, yeah. And it was like, people were talking about Instagram. I was like, I don't really get it. I'll stick to my Twitter. And then of course found out what Instagram actually did and sort of defected. Yeah. And I found Twitter all a bit angry. <laughs> angry tweet. Yeah, well, yeah, that, that's not how I, that's what I always thought, that Twitter was really, you know, aggressive and, and, and um, but maybe it's because I, I'm very, I want to know about politics and I'm very interested oh, okay. in politics and yeah, we're supposed to keep <laughs> politics out of our flowers and, you know, those kinds of, um, but anyway, um, I am. And I think Twitter is an amazing way to um, stay um, informed. And I just think that the people that I follow on Twitter are just mm. so incredibly smart. And I never knew that I would that I would get addicted to it. So if you if you if you ask me if there's some, yeah, I'm a Twitter addict. I <laughs> okay. can't. It's it's one of the first things that I do in the morning. And it's one of the first things that I do when I, before I go to sleep. Wow. 
Yeah. Well, when we finish this, you'll have to let me know what your, your name is. So I can that's what I, that's <laughs> what I mean. <laughs> I think I'm yeah. not going to do <laughs> that. I'm not going to do that because it's oh. just so wonderful to have something where you can just sort yeah. of... Be yourself. Just, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Popular. Is there anything you want to people to know or to share with people before we go? Uh, well... And no, I have to. Be like, I've been talking for a week now. And I can imagine that you know you there no there has to at some point be a switch off button. And I have to say, you girls have have asked me um, amazing questions, and I just loved answering them and i'm just incredibly mm. incredibly honored oh, wow. really. it's been thank such a so pleasure much. to have you with us yeah, yeah so yeah. Nice. Oh, thank you finally thank you so much thank you and we're definitely to places to come yeah we're definitely yeah. coming over to learn sugar flowers yeah. on mass exactly <laughs> <laughs> can you book a space for three please <laughs> <laughs> and if there's wine on the side that would be good too. <laughs> even better <laughs> And maybe even Kate. <laughs> oh, that would be amazing, wouldn't it? Oh, it you would, would love it so much. Yeah. yeah. You would really, 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 you would love it so much. You will have a hard time figuring out or, or deciding which flowers are we going to do. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That's why um, we need a week. You Easiest will not one, stop. And you will be surprised at how um what is the word? Like really um not anxious, but how um Oh, this is this is the thing. Sometimes I I just my English is not so good. Yeah. Oh, you yeah. will be surprised at, at how <laughs> eager you're going to be. Oh yes. no, I'm not okay. surprised. I'm very eager. Eager. Yes, and you're going to be competitive. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh yes, oh, really? yes, very competitive. There will be like those were my pedals. No, they're not. They're Stand mine, away. You know? <laughs> Back off. Yes, I've got a funny that. feeling you're just going to make us worse as well. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, it is. It is. E yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine oh. how it's going to change your life? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Sugar flowers changed my life. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, thank you. We'll let you get back to whatever you were doing. And yeah. thank you so much for time. It's been fabulous. Yes, thank you, thank so, you so, so much. much. Oh. And, <laughs> thank you. you know, every wishing you just just keep healthy. Just, just stay healthy. And you. And you. And you. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so Enjoy much, your girls. sunshine. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> I'm going to have a glass of wine. Woo, nice. nice. <laughs> Bye. 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 You've been listening to the Restless Creatives podcast. To ensure you don't miss our next episode, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, the Restless Creatives podcast. If you'd prefer to listen rather than watch us, you can catch us on one of your favoured podcast providers. For more sneak peeks and behind the scenes fun, visit our Instagram at the.restlesscreatives or visit our website therestlesscreatives.co.uk.